All right, I apologize for the uh, crudeness of this video. I'm just recording this from a, a little Sony bloggy, uh, recording the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Um, it didn't feel like screen capture would really show you, you know, what it was like to use this on this uh, on this small tablet. But um, I have uh, Soft Surface installed on my Surface Pro 2. You can see when it comes up. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see what's really written on the screen, but I have uh, my element profile saved, and when I click the connect button, it connects right up. Now, it's interesting to note that uh, I'm using my uh, home wireless network, so I'm not wired to anything. Um, and my home wireless network is actually routed to my Axia network. So, because Soft Surface is just a control, there's actually no live wire that takes place, so this could actually be used um, on a standard wireless network, which I'm using here. Uh, it could be used remotely via a VPN or you know some other connection back to the console. And you can see the meters work pretty well. Um, I have full control. If I reach over here and just control uh, the element, you will see that the uh, that the faders actually move as I turn them on and off. Um, you can see down here they'll actually change. So what happens on the console is actually reflected on the on the soft surface screen. And I really have full element uh, control at this point. If I wanted to um, uh, take a listen, let's turn my channel back on here for program one. I'll select program one on my monitors. And so I can control the monitor volume. I can also control the individual fader volume uh, of the uh, of the events. If I want to switch my monitors, switch it to program two. I switched it to program two. I can control the volume. Uh, I can control the headphone volume. Although I'm not sure it makes much sense to control the headphone volume remotely, um, but you can have full control of the console that way. Um, you can also select sources to put on the. Um, uh, to put on the board, if I wanted to uh, select uh, one of my um, one of my country, let's just select a, a country format. It doesn't look like there's anything on that. Maybe there is, um, but you can select sources. Uh, you basically have full control of the console. For example, if I I'm going to just go ahead and select a phone source here. Turn that off so I actually load the phone. Um, oh, you know what? I've already got the phone on uh, another channel, so let me just scroll over there to that. I'll set this source to none, and you'll see how I can scroll across. Although I have uh, 16 faders, I'm only showing eight of them at a time. That's controllable uh, based on how much screen real estate you have. But if I want to change the phone settings, uh, let's say I wanted to change the uh, the mix minus that was going to the phone, um, I can actually control what's feeding the phone back feed. Right now it's in auto. If I wanted to set it uh, to just have a program one feed, uh, now it's feeding program one and I don't know whether you can see the little meters up here in the corner. We have little confidence meters uh, that basically tell you that all that stuff is uh, is working. So full control of the console. Um, you know this is a pretty small tablet. I would say a larger uh, tablet uh, would be better. Uh, but it certainly is doable from this uh, Microsoft Surface Pro 2 that I have, and this is running Soft Surface version 1.05. That's it for now. Thanks.